I'm John Bollinger with Premier Guitar, and today we're taking a first look at the brand new Gibson Fire, I'm sorry, Epiphone inspired by Gibson, uh, Firebird 1 and 5. Now these, this is a, I guess you could call it a collaboration between the Gibson Custom Shop and Epiphone, and they're bringing you a very accurate uh, 1963 reproduction. And they really nailed it. But before I tell you all about these two very cool guitars, take a second to subscribe below. That way we can keep you up to date on all the cool gear that's coming down the, coming down the pike. And here's our recording it. Um, I've got both record, uh, both guitars plugged into my little pedal board. I've got a uh, Nobles Screamer in there and a Halo and a few other things. You can see I'm running that into my, my late 60s Fender um, Super Reverb that has a 15 inch Weber in it. I'm miking it with an Area 51 mic and that's going into, uh, into an Apogee and then out to you all. So pretty straight ahead. So the Firebird was a big departure for Gibson. It came out in 1963 and it was designed actually by a car designer, Ray Dietrich. And it kind of has that hot rod aesthetic. You know, from the wings, to the, uh, they went with some kind of custom hot rod colors. They also, it has a hot rod name, a Firebird. Um, it's the first time that Gibson did a neck through body. So from here, here, from boot to bonnet, that is a nine ply uh, chunk of wood with mahogany and walnut stripes running all the way through. And some maintain that that's where it gets its special tone because it's just this big chunk of wood. These wings uh, attached to it are mahogany as well, but I don't think that influences the tone like this big, just solid chunk. Um, also, the pickups, a bit of a departure, they went with these mini humbuckers. And Epiphone went with these Gibson uh, Firebird mini humbuckers with our Nico 5 pick, uh, magnets. And man, they sound great. Um, they also went back to the Vibrola, and I don't know if they tweaked it slightly, but it seems to stay in tune really well. Um, so why don't we get into it a little bit? You can hear what this thing sounds like. So let's start with this neck pickup. <laughs> Thank you. 
just a really sweet tone. And amazingly, I think this this uh, this vibrola really does lock in tune. So I'm I'm really impressed. That that to me the 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 neck pickup is my my favorite pickup on this guitar because it it's got that that stratty thing only bigger. It doesn't have the uh, I guess the uh, well you know I don't have to describe. It's hard to describe tone, but you get it. It is bigger and fatter, but stratty. So anyway, I love that. Um, let's look at this bridge a little bit. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's kind of got that beefy telly thing, I'm reluctant to say, but that's kind of what it reminds me of. So I watched players like Johnny Winter or Joe Bonamassa on a Firebird, and man, it just has this sting to it that, that cuts through every mix. And I've never played one before, really, but man, it kind of does it all. And then when you unleash Hell, it gets even more interesting. <laughs> Pretty massive, right? And both pickups together really is a sweet spot. So they really nailed it on the five. Let's try the one. So now we're on the Firebird one. And as you can see, one pickup, wraparound bridge, one volume, one tone. It's about as simple as you get. But there's a lot of players like, well, like Jared James Nichols and Richard Fortas who get so much out of a one pickup guitar. And Richard Fortas told me during his rundown, he said, that his theory is because you don't have the magnets of the other pickup kind of pulling on it, that it's just gonna make it, I don't know, bigger, more resonant, whatever. Whatever that is, you can hear it with this guitar. So here we are. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, I was watching Jared James the other day playing his Epi signature and seeing how much he gets out of just his tone and volume in one pickup. It's really inspiring. Uh, I don't have that. But this guitar does have all that, and I'm really impressed with what they did. So there it is, the Firebird 1 and the Firebird 5. Epiphone's new Inspired by Gibson um, line, and I think it's really an inspiring line. So good on you. This is John Bollinger. Until next time, make sure you subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel, our magazine, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all that social media crap. And uh, we'll keep you up to date on all the cool new gear that's out there. It's John Bollinger. Until next time.